Today I'm going to show you a really clever little tip and it's using this roofing square. You can pick these roofing squares up for as little as a fiver. Just bear in mind that if you do buy one of those, they're not built to last. These numbers will rub off. So this is a nice new one. Although it's cheap, it's new, it's nice clear numbers on it. So I can show you what we're going to be doing today. The first thing I'm going to show you is a quick tip on how to work out the pitch of a roof so that you don't need to go for all of these numbers on the square. So we're going to go for, as the Americans would say, a 5 over 12. We're going to work on this inside scale, but it's important to remember that if you're working on the inside scale here, you need to work on the inside scale here. You can't work on the inside of this and the outside of that or vice versa. It just won't work. So this one we're going inside so we've got the square sitting nicely all over the timber. So firstly, we're going to go for five. This is our rise going up the roof. And then we're going to go 12, which is our run along the roof. That's five over 12. The great thing about using tape like this is that, especially on this square, we have inches on this side and millimeters on this side. But because we've taped it all the way round, we can flip it over and we just use our tape marks. We don't need to worry about the numbers on this side. It's all been worked out there first. So when we lay our roof and square out onto our rafter, in this case it's a six by two, we use our marks on the, what is gonna be the top edge of our rafter. We always mark from the top. Everything's done from the top down. We set up our tape against the edge of the timber there and then we roll this one round until that lines up with the edge of the timber. It's slightly awkward working on modern timbers which have got these rounded edges on them. All you need to do is make sure that where your tape lines up on there, if it's slightly over, like halfway into the round, that one also needs to be halfway into the round. Or you can get your eye right over the top, make sure you're flush with that edge there and there. But with experience, you get used to these things and it's quite easy to pick it up as you go along. So we've lined up our two points here along the top of the rafter and then along this edge, which is our rise, we're going to go like that and that is our plumb cut which will fit against our ridge board which would be in effect something like that so we've got our plumb cut so what we need to know is this distance from here to here i'm going to say it's eight feet across so the first thing we need to do is cut that in half so that is now four feet so i know that from this corner so the center is four feet. That is the distance that our rafter is gonna cover because we've got one rafter here, one rafter here. But how do we, we know that's four feet. How do we know how long that is? That is gonna be longer because if we laid that, obviously you can see that if you laid that flat down there, it's gonna end up somewhere like that. And if you stand that from the center up there, we're gonna be over here. So how do we work that out? But I must emphasize that we are working from the outside of the building to the outside of the building there. So we're going to the, to the right to the extremities of the building. So we can uh, work out the length of the rafter using this table, which is supplied and printed out onto the side of this roofing square. Uh, so you find uh, the pitch that you want, but it, and it gives you a multiplier, but you've still got some sums to do. You've got to work out some maths to find out your length. And quite often, like I said before, these numbers do get rubbed off, then you've lost it then you've got to start searching on the internet for the multiplier. But there's a far easier way of doing it. You can also get an app to do this. Daniel Cox has got an app for his roofing square and you can input the information and it works it all out for free. But I'm gonna show you a way that we can do it on this square with no calculator, no app. Take your tape measure and you hold it between that point there and that point there that we marked earlier. So our five over 12 and you measure that distance, that is 13 inches. So 13 inches is from that corner there, 13 inches up. That's running up that angle, which is that. That's our right angle. And that is our 13 inches up there. So that is two. That's two foot. Halfway across here is two feet. So if I draw that line up there, that distance between there and there is 26 inches. If I halve that again, and put a line there, that's one foot. Draw that up, that's 13, which is our 13 on our square. So 13, 26, we can do it again up here. So that's now three feet across, 13, 26, 39. All right. Perfect, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your maths is all right, isn't it? No, yeah, I'm keeping it. That's okay. it, okay. 39, and then up the center, 
that's our fourth one which is then 52. We're ignoring the ridge board at the moment we can talk about that later uh, it's not important in fact it's a good thing to leave that on because we can cut it off to to adjust later if we need to. In carpentry just remember you can't add a bit on but you can always take it off. Right so we worked that out using a little bit of my limited mental power uh, and my adding up skills which is not great. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do it you haven't even got to add anything up we're going to use a bit of our old mate Pythagoras. This is our plumb cut this point here we'll put our inside tape measurement there our tape there and then we're going to put a little mark there and then what we do is using this point from the five we slide it up and line it up with that mark that we've just made there then we make another mark there can you see what's happening already I'm going to say this is number two that was number one then we're going to slide it up again line that mark up there get that flush on there another little mark this is number three once more that mark on there I want to tape up with the edge that mark there that's number four so that is now our rafter length for the final one I'm going to line up the tape on there now this is the mark that we want to mark for so don't get confused and then mark it on that side of the blade we need to be here so you can do it here like this or you can slide that past but as long as you're on that mark and at least two are lined up we're good we can go straight along there like that so now a moment of truth I said 4 times 13 is 52 that is true that's not the truth bit let's see, let's see if the, uh, the trick worked so we'll put it on there that's our top of our plumb cut and I'll measure down to our new cut 50, let me put a mark there and I can pull it away, 52, look at that, bang on. So hang on James, I sense a little trick here mate because yeah that's very nice, you've got an 8 foot building, I've got an 8 foot 6 building okay, it doesn't quite work out for you does it? It'll work, I'll promise you, I'll show you, it's, it's just as simple, it still works. 8 foot 6 is your building, so now we're talking 4 foot 3 for our centre line, so let's, so we're 8 foot 6, so now we are 4 foot three inches I'm not going to even going to attempt to add up whatever that's going to be because it's too easy to do it this way why would I so I'm going to show you how it's done four foot three so we'll do exactly what we've just done we'll start there we've got well I'll use the marks we've already got so we've got number one then we've got number two number three number four that's our four feet and then to get the three inches, we go along one more time, up to here. Okay, so number four is there. We slide it one more time. Okay, so five times 13 is too much. We want four foot three. So this is how we work that last three inches out. We've got, we're lined up there on our tape, on our tape. This is our run. So we've gone four times 12, and the, th the three comes from here, that's zero one two three that's four foot three put a little mark there and then we slide it up again up to that mark there line our tape up here line our tape up there on that mark now that is our new plumb cut for a four foot three roof just because you're awkward <laughs> okay mate all right i'm persuaded that's all right. lovely all right so we'll, we'll get that fully across the timber there let's move that okay. over to that side Now that is going to be the outside, so that's the plumb cut that goes down onto the wall plate. That's correct. Um, and now I need a seat cut. What are you going to you do, do for me? So a seat cut, you, the rule of thumb is don't go any more than one third through the thickness of the timber. Our timber is around about 150 mil or six inches, so I've gone to the, the closest whole number and then I will take a third of that, so that will be two inches or 50 millimetres. So we're going to mark two inches up. Hang on a Here. minute, isn't that the wrong side? No, we're working from, this is the top of our timber. Oh yeah. So we want to take two inches out the bottom, which is going to sit over our wall plate that way. See, I would have made that mistake. I would have cut the plumb cut or, or the seat cut on the wrong side. Well, you could have stuck it back in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> so I'm gonna, now I'm going to mark out our bird's mouth and we still keep the square with these tape lines on the top of our rafter. And then what we need to do is slide it up to that new mark that we've made, the intersection there, which is our bird's mouth. 
and what you need to remember is that this is the outside of the wall plate, it's the outside of the building. So we're cutting back this way. So from that point there, we mark that line there, and that is what we cut out for our bird's mouth. You're a genius. Pythagoras is a genius. So there's a quick tip for you there. And if you don't want to miss any more installments of our complete carpentry guide, subscribe to Skill Builder and click on the bell for notifications.